Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here or Nick back with another brand new video. So today guys, I want to help out a couple of you guys out there that have been wondering exactly how do you use schematics? I give schematic downloads for a decent amount of my builds and I also do them for every single base showcase and some people don't actually know how to use schematica. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to run you guys through exactly how to use schematica and all the plugins slash mods that you're going to need to be able to run schematica and use those schematics that I give you guys. So without further guys, let me jump over to my desktop where we'll start off this portion of this tutorial. All right guys, over on our desktop, we're gonna need three different programs slash mods to be able to actually use Schematica. So the first one, of course, is Schematica. So you can download it from this website. I will leave all of the downloads in the description for this video and they're actually all on the exact same website mods.io so they're 100 safe don't worry about it the next one um you're gonna need minecraft forge this is what allows you to run all of these mods in minecraft forge so that's like the thing that allows you to actually run all of these mods schematica being one of those mods and lastly you're gonna need a mod called lunatris core so this mod is like a buddy mod for the schematica mod so it basically allows the schematica mod to basically work so you will need this a hundred percent to be able to use schematica so if you don't have this then schematica won't work properly and so for all of those the downloads are on the right side right here i believe on the forge one they are just right here um go ahead on this left side over here pick the version that you want i use 1.8 for just about every single video 1.8.9 but as you guys can see it goes all the way to 1.12 but make sure when you download these I guess mods that you have the exact same version for all three mods. So like Minecraft Forge, make it 1.12, make Schematica 1.12, and then download the Lunatris Core, which is 1.12 as well. Otherwise you will run into some problems. So if all of the versions are not the exact same, then it's not gonna work. So make sure 100% those are all the exact same. Once you have all three of those things downloaded, go ahead and bring them all to your desktop. It's just the easiest place to go ahead and have them navigated to. So once you have all of them downloaded, go ahead and click on the forge real quick and what should happen is this thing should pop up go ahead and just hit install client and hit ok you're gonna see this happen it's gonna download and then now forge is installed so what you're gonna go ahead and do now is you're gonna go into your file explorer you're gonna come up to right here and you're gonna type in percent app data percent you're gonna come find your dot minecraft folder find your mods folder if you don't already have one you can go ahead and create one or just go ahead and load up forge in here so load up your minecraft and then go ahead and load up your forge and it would create this mods folder for you once you have your mods folder go ahead i have these two in here already so i'll just take them out i'll hit replace file and destination so what happened actually let me delete them real quick so you're going to have a blank mods folder. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your two guys, your two mods that are over here, drag them both and put them into your mods folder. And then go ahead and close out of this. You can go ahead and put these files now wherever you want. And then you can go ahead and you can just start up Minecraft. Go ahead and start up your Minecraft. Mine is loading up very briefly. Here we go. And you're going to notice that it's going to load all of your mods down here. So I'm going to widen this real quick. So if it loads up properly like this and it doesn't crash on you, that means all of those mods are correctly installed. You can come and hit mods and you can see them on the side over here. So I have the Forge mods, Lunatris Core, and Schematica. These three right here are just the Forge mods. So if you have these two right here, then you're all set. So now what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to actually need a Schematica file. So you can go ahead and go to one of my videos and you can find that in the description and you can find one of the downloads in any of my videos. Or if you just have a schematic of your own that you want to use, you guys can go ahead and use that as well. But you're going to go back into that dot Minecraft folder by typing app data percent minecraft folder and you're going to come to this now you may or may not have a schematics folder but if you do not you're going to need to go ahead and just create one so just type schematics or hit new folder and type schematics once you have a schematic folder it should be empty go ahead find that schematic let's say it's on your desktop like that just go ahead and drag it to here and then replace file destination if it's already there now your schematic is in here and now it will actually load up in that schematica but there's one other thing that people like to do is they like to use schematics and like to world edit them in on single player servers so if you're ever trying to world edit in a schematic go ahead and go into config world edit 
And then there should be a schematics folder in here as well, so you can do the exact same thing. I, for the sake of this video, am not going to cover the world edit portion of Schematica, just because I feel like it's it's not needed in this video. It doesn't suit the purpose that most of you guys are wanting. So if you guys want to see a video on that, I'll leave that to a different video. So now with Minecraft loaded back up, you can either do this in two places, single player or multiplayer. Schematica works in either of the two. I'm going to go ahead and go into a blank world or semi-blank world. I'm going to load in and we are right here. So I want to show you guys exactly how to load in a schematic. Now this is going to work on both multiplayer and single player. I'll show you how to do it on multiplayer as well, but I'll go over the main commands in here. So on your number pad farthest to your right, the one that says numlock and then has all the directional arrows as well as all the number keys, you're going to want to go ahead and hit that slash button. This is going to load up all the schematics that you have inside of that schematics folder. Click on one of them and hit done. Now that schematic should load in like this. This is what a schematic looks like when you uh, import it into any world multiplayer or single player. Now what it does not do is it does not place the blocks for you. I mean it has that feature but we're not going to cover that right away. So what you want to do first is go ahead and position it in the exact place that you want. So by doing that you press the minus key and then this thing should show up. And now you can move the schematic where you want. So you can move it left or right, up or down if you want to back and forth if you want to and once you find the position that you want you can just hit the escape key and then it'll set to where you want to so now what schematica mainly does is it basically gives you a template to actually place blocks so if i were to place a block right here you can see it fills it in and now i can just go ahead and i can fill all these blocks in that's the main function of schematica that's the uh, i guess basic thing that schematica will allow you to do on most servers there is another function of Schematica that is, for the most part, bannable on just about every single server because it basically places the blocks for you. So if you're interested in knowing how to do the version that places the blocks for you, if you're willing to risk cheating on any Minecraft server, or if you're going to use this on a single player server and you don't really have to worry about that, I guess. So go ahead back into that minus key and you'll notice down in the left corner it should say printer. Turn that bad boy on and then hit escape as well. Now if you come over to here and you just stand near it, it's going to start placing all the blocks for you. You'll notice that I'm just walking around and all these blocks are placing on their own. Like I'm looking this way and the blocks are placing for me. So all you have to do is stand near it and it'll place all of the blocks for you. And if you fly around, it'll continue to place all the blocks that are supposed to place for you. You literally, literally just have to fly around or walk around the build and be near the area and it'll place every block for you. Um, this is highly bannable on just about every faction server like I mentioned, but that doesn't stop a lot of people. So I figured I would let you guys know if you really cared. If you guys want to go ahead and turn that printer off, you just press the off button and there you go and now it is off if you want to go and have the schematica disappear like you want to look at your progress just in this right corner press hide and now you guys can go ahead and see the progress that i had so this is what i built using that printer mod that i really don't suggest using on faction servers because for the most part guys it is going to be bannable but if you're using it on a single player world or a server that allows printer all right just go ahead and do it because it's pretty awesome so to show you guys that this does work on multiplayer well you can see down the bottom left corner corner that I am on a multiplayer server you can see there's chat down here so it works the exact same way press that minus button or I'm at that slash button load up your schematic hit done and then you can go ahead and you can move it around as well now printer will work on this server and I know for a fact that it does but it is bannable on this server and many other servers so I again I'm just gonna let you guys know it's bannable go right ahead and use it if you want but printer is definitely not allowed but you guys can go ahead and use it for the function that most of you guys hopefully intend to use it. You use it as a template and hopefully you guys, when you use it as a template, you guys find flaws or parts of the build that you don't like and you change them to your needs. But this is where we're going to bring today's video to an end and I hope it helped a couple of you guys out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Hopefully this video did help a couple of you guys. And if there's any other suggestions like the world edit version of Schematica, definitely let me know down below as always. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, I love you all. Peace out. Can we skip to the good part?